Hey, and welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome, Danny B Talks viewers. We, this is a new thing for us. Yeah. Uh, we are at the IndyCar Music City Grand Prix. A couple of NASCAR fans. Our first time at an IndyCar race for both of us. A special thanks to the folks at IndyCar and the Big Machine Vodka Music City Grand Prix for allowing us to have media access for this weekend. Uh, we're going to show you guys our first-hand experience of what you know, this weekend is for, for, for what the this Sunday is for the IndyCar race here. Uh, Claudia, what are you looking forward to the most here? I am just interested to see how loud they are. I've, I've never been, like you said, never been to a race here. Watched it on TV last year. So we kind of know kind of what to expect a little bit, but, uh, but it'll be so cool to actually see it up close and in person. So come along with us. We're going to go head on over to Nissan Stadium for the Music City Grand Prix. Begin our journey by walking across the Cumberland River here in Nashville, Tennessee. It flows out of Old Hickory Lake. And you know me, I'd love to be down there fishing right now. But hey, we got race cars to go look at. Nissan Stadium has some of the greats of the Tennessee Titans. Me, me and Claudia's favorite team, including Steve McNair and other legends of the Tennessee Titans. It's also funny, we were just here last weekend for WWE SummerSlam, so it's cool to be back here for two weekends in a row. To the back side of Nissan Stadium, you can see the iconic skyline of Nashville, most known for, wait till we get past this tree, most known for that big AT&T building you see there, known as the Batman building by most people around Nashville. But we're gonna go check out what all there is to do here on the back side of Nissan Stadium. Can't really know if you can hear me over that, but we got the DJ playing here. Hey, Claudia, how would you like to go get on that bull over there? I would stay on for like two seconds. <laughs> In the midst of all this IndyCar stuff, we actually do have a late model stock car here. You don't really see this setup at NASCAR stuff anymore, but Red Bull has a setup here at the Music City Grand Prix. We got vintage Indy over here. A bunch of old school cars set up. Cars of long ago of IndyCar. Check out that. That's a old school Budweiser colors right there. Claudia, what do you think about all the old school cars on the showcase here? Wow. They've come a long way since then. Like, just check this thing out. There's so much open on this thing the pipes are just out like that funny one side is shorter than the other side for the driver to get in hey, you nascar fans you should recognize that face there's jimmy johnson with a big carvana setup that looks to me like that is a giant car vending machine i know they always say carvana has the quote vending machine but that is a literal vending machine we're gonna come in here well there's not much of a crowd here in the carvana area but look right there there is Show car of Jimmy Johnson's Indy car ride. Carvana number 48 of Jimmy Johnson. No, oh, it says win a diecast here. Oh, re wait, where does it say that? Win a here. Oh, well, we might as well try for it. Maybe. See what we need to do. Down there. Oh, nice. We had the last year, now we got this year. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, he's gonna give it a try. And of course, just like NASCAR races, they have a big area for you to buy IndyCar merch. Which, Claudia, we kind of saw this last year when we went to the Indy, Indy, Indy? Annapolis NASCAR race. Road Yes, because they had IndyCar set up, so they had in IndyCar merch set up. But it's kind of cool. These are uh, 1 18th scale die casts. Yeah, I'll stick to my 164, I think, but those are massive. To keep in uh, reference how much these are compared to the NASCAR die casts, they are $74. So That's kind of comparable. I feel like if, if I was an IndyCar fan, I feel like you would have to be, I'd have to be very selective on what I buy versus I feel like NASCAR is a little bit cheaper. You can just buy random ones here and there not your favorite driver. Here, I'd probably just stick to, you know, one driver. Yeah. That's kind of pricey having it. But they're bigger cars. Yeah. What's interesting, they have, you know, pictures like normal NASCAR, but theirs looks almost like a jersey with the number really big on the back. That's it's like, like Pagano, 
It's like it's like a fire suit on the front, but then it's like jersey on the back. Like the fire suit. That, but I do think it's kind of cool. It looks like almost like a soccer jersey. Yeah. Firestone has an area set up with a show car on display. Things to do. We just saw some people going crazy in there for some reason. Claudia, I think I found my next truck. What do you think? Uh, I say no. Can my kayak fit in there? Yeah, probably. Hang up back and look in it in there. <laughs> so, of course, IndyCar has their own area set up here with the Music City Grand Prix show car that we saw even back in 2020 when this race was first announced. But what's also cool, Claudia found out she's about the same height as Tatiana Calderon. So that could be a race car driver. Right? Yeah, she's tall enough to be a race car driver. Uh, Meanwhile, I, I've, I'll let Claudia hold this for a second. Yeah, I'm not near as tall as Greg Ray Hall. Likewise, if you have a bunch of people like me and Claudia who are mainly NASCAR fans, you can come over here and see a full list of all the drivers, kind of get familiar with them, know a little bit about them, their names. I don't know that guy. I've never seen him in my entire life. I think uh, he was a rookie last year. Yeah, yeah, some rookie in, in IndyCar over here. But we got Elio Castroneves, seen him at SRX, Connor Daly, all kinds of people. Scott Dixon, that's like the first IndyCar driver Claudia ever knew that was Scott Dixon. Yeah, he Last year here, and the Indy 500. 500. So if I had to pick a favorite, I would probably go, I'm a Ganassi person. I'd go Marcus Scott or Jimmy. So yeah. I'm going to go for a Ganassi driver. There's Colton Herta. We've had him on the podcast before. Uh, uh, and here's the most controversial one probably is uh, Alex Pillow. Uh, been a lot of stuff going on with his contract situation here lately. So, Claudia, this is something that we're used to seeing at our NASCAR races, but Chevrolet has their tent set up with some of their uh, cars that they sell. I see a nice Chevy Silverado set up over there. It looks like they have drivers come sit on that stage right there. And they've got a show car of the Chevrolet IndyCar. Uh, we're on the track for a minute here, Claudia. More or less the street? Yeah. Yeah, a road we can usually walk on any day of the week, but it's kind of weird when it's a, it's a racetrack right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I can see some of the garage areas, or sorry, no, pit area down there. Now, we have just entered into the inside area, and they have more vendors set up here for food and all kinds of stuff like that. I see ice cream down there, Ben & Jerry's. Claudia, how about we uh, actually take them up and just show them real quick like a grandstand view. You want to do that? Yeah, we haven't seen it. So just for a second, we're going to kind of show you guys what they see from the grandstands here. So just a quick view from up here. They've got uh, they've got some commentary going on, so I don't know if you can hear me that good. But here's like a little view of the little chicane area right here. And of course, there is the garage area right over there. Sorry, I keep saying garage area. I mean pit area slash paddock area. I got, I got to get my terms right. Claudia, check this out. They have backup nose cones and wing pieces here. That's so interesting. I didn't know until uh, last year's race. I think because Marcus, I think, had a damage one and they just replaced it. And I was like, wait, how did he win if his like, car was literally... Because they just pop up. it off and put a new one on, apparently. I have no idea. That is so cool. But this looks like it's the, uh, the 27 team, it looks like. All right, Claudia, welcome to the IndyCar paddock area. Looks no, it's called a paddock. Call a paddock. But looks like we've got some of the uh, areas set up here. Oh, these are some really fancy looking uh, kind of setups over here. Like they've just got the cars just sitting here. Going through them. That's kind of cool. Just watching them go to work like that. Little hero car. It's about the same size as your credential. Yeah. Uh, Felix, I don't want to say that last name. I messed it up. Felix, number Rose, seven. Rose, Rose, Rose. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty close. Claudia, what you think? We got the Indy Lights race going on, and you can kind of hear yourself a little bit, be able to talk to each other. Yeah, but then again, there's not many cars. Yeah, there's like maybe 12. Like, like here they come right here. again. Yeah. I left my earplugs in the media center. 
You forgot, forgot about him. Forgot about him. Uh, I love my earplugs in the media center, so they are very far away. But uh, I mean, we really might not need them because they zip by so fast, and then it's just kind of a, a roar in the distance. These cars are very much more of just a, a higher pitch, so it's not as bad on your ears per se. Yeah, compared to like a stock car. Yeah, very beefy, rumbly kind of sound. Here's a good look at the pit area. This is uh, Marcus Erickson's team. They are the defending winners of the Music City Grand Prix and this year's Indy 500 with the Husky Chocolate team here. They're telling us we gotta move because uh, it, it's it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> After a lengthy rain delay here in Nissan Stadium, we're finally heading back to the uh, pit area to hopefully get this race started. So let's head out of Nissan Stadium. I thought it was good. Well, enjoy this view here because this is about as good as we can get. I uh, would like to go show you guys some of the uh, pre-race area in the pits like we do for NASCAR races, but unfortunately, I don't know, I don't think they know the rules or have the rules all together correctly. Uh, the security informed us that media was not allowed to be anywhere near the pit area during the race. So that's unfortunate. Uh, big downgrade to IndyCar and the Music City Grand Prix on that part. Reevaluate that, please, because it makes no sense why media shouldn't be allowed to be anywhere near the actual pit area during the race. You can go there during the Indy Lights race, but for the IndyCar race, not allowed. Uh, yeah. Downgrade for you guys. Though.
What you meowing about? You miss us? And welcome back to Hendersonville. We are back home after our very first IndyCar race. Yep. So overall, fun time. It was great to meet, uh, for the first time, David Land. Known him for a little while now, virtually. Had him on our show a few times, but good to have him here. We hosted him here this weekend, so good to see David. If you're not subscribed to David Land's channel, go check it out. He's got a lot more great IndyCar coverage on his channel. Um, but Claudia, overall, what did you think of our first IndyCar race? It was neat. I would definitely see myself going back to a race. Um, maybe somewhere else just to see something different. I told Daniel, now I'm starting to kind of know who some of the drivers are because I didn't know hardly any before going into this race. So uh, I definitely want to go to an Indy 500 someday. I think that would be yeah, neat. That is a bucket list race to go to. But overall, I enjoyed it. My, my, my biggest complaint, um, we, we did have media access, but unlike NASCAR races, we've had media access. Uh, media is not allowed on pit road and i during, think well during the race so while the track during is hot. the race and i think that's kind of an issue we had that situation at nashville super speedway in 2021 but it was also mainly due to covid restrictions um but yeah i mean even after the race the security guard was telling me that media wouldn't be allowed to go into that area until after teams had already left and that didn't make any sense either no but that was the biggest complaint um it wasn't a overall sellout because there were places where we could still kind of go watch it from the grandstands here and there yeah so with our passes it allowed us to go in the paddock which uh, i.e the garage area um so we saw some of that um and then what we just did is basically like a general mission pass walked around found some seats and some grandstands got a different view so you'll see throughout the vlog um some different viewpoints and whatnot so i think that was neat I don't know if I would personally like just being in one specific seat. Yeah, um, it was nice to move around a little bit. Because it was hard just to sit in the same spot and watch in the same part of the cars. That's like when we went to Road America, it was nice to sit and watch. Okay, let's get up and move. Yeah, you know? I thought that um, was nice. But lots of screens around, I really liked. I know going back to Road America, that's what I didn't like, is you never knew what was happening here. Tons of screens going, you know, or, or posted around, so you knew exactly what was going on during the race. But overall, that was a lot of fun. Uh, this is our only IndyCar race this year. Maybe we'll go to more in the future. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Gateway is not far. We're not going to go to that one this year, but maybe another year. Um, possibly an Indy 500 one year. But I think the next race for us is the Bristol night race. We will be there for that with media coverage for that one. But that might be the last one of the year for us. So, yeah. Not so, sure. and Scott Dixon will yep. get the win today. Got the winning die cast already. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. We, uh, we picked this up at Indy last year. Is, is that right? Yeah, we got it. Yeah, when Indy. we were at the Indy NASCAR race. Um, but anyways, I, I thought that was really cool. I picked a Ganassi driver at the beginning i was like i'm gonna go for ganassi today and ganassi gets it done so uh i think that's about it of our coverage yep thanks for checking out two nascar fans adventure to their first indycar race so. yes it, it was really cool i would i would definitely do a indycar race again but hey until next time thanks for watching this video make sure you subscribe to danaby talks if you're new to our channel and until next time we hope you have a great day Bye, Bye guys. guys. Hey race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.